hello guys good day i hope you are doing good um this is noble my science tutors online and you are welcome to our class for today for this particular class we are going to be looking at capacitors and capacitance capacitors and capacitance and then um i will encourage you to get your writing materials get your calculators your bios your writing pad and get settled so that uh, we can go straight to our class and besides that please if you have not subscribed to our channel please what are you waiting for subscribe to our channel now give us a thumbs up give us a like so that whenever we upload a new video youtube will notify you is that okay so and uh, we will also encourage you to help us share our videos in your various uh, social media platforms okay we thank you for visiting this channel we will continue to do our best so that um, our lectures will impact positively on you then if you are a new comma or a new subscriber you are welcome to this uh, physics video tutorial we promise to give you the best and to make physics as simple as possible to you okay so welcome once again you can also reach us through the whatsapp number that is showing right on your screen okay so thank you so much please if you are ready let's go to our class for today capacitors and capacitance so what is a capacitor if you look at um, many electrical devices you will see a capacitor in them then if you check some um, electrical boards especially power boards you will see capacitors in them and what are they used for they are devices that are used to store electrical charges or for storing electricity so a simple capacitor normally consists of two conductors metal plates carrying opposite charges the metal plates are separated by an insulator and that insulator is called a dielectric constant i mean a dielectric substance okay so the capacitance of a capacitor it increases with the area between the place and then the dielectric constant but it decreases with the distance between the plates and that is what this simple equation indicates capacitance increases is directly proportional to the area between the plates and inversely proportional to the distance between the plates the constant of proportionality is known as the permittivity of the material okay it's known as permittivity of the material between the plates that is the constant of proportionality epsilon okay so this is, these are some of the factors that affect the capacitance of a capacitor in the area between the plates and the distance between the plates then the capacitance of a capacitor is defined as the ratio of the charge on either plate or conductor to the potential difference between them so capacitance is given as q over v and q is equals to cv okay or v is equals to q all over c as the case may be so it depends on what you are looking for and then you know how to solve them then one microfarad is equals to 10 minus 6 farad and one nanofarad is equals to 10 and minus 9 farad what is more common is microfarad so whenever you are giving a value in microfarad you can convert it to farad by multiplying it by 10 to the power minus 6. the same thing too if you are giving a value in micro coulomb you can convert it to coulomb by multiplying it by 10 to the power minus 6 uh, coulomb is that okay so these are some simple conversions that you need to take note of when you are solving problems that has to do with electrical field intensity talking about charges and then um, and all that okay so let's look at some um, some questions then we'll also go to 
other areas of capacitance, arrangement of capacitance, both in parallel and in series. Okay, so let's solve one or two problems that we'll look at capacitance in capacitors in parallel and capacitors in a series. So let's solve one or two problems first. Right, so this question says that a parallel plate capacitor of capacitance 600 microfarad has a potential difference of 2000 volt between its plates. Calculate the charge on either plate of the capacitor. This is a jam question. This is a jam question. So <clears throat> from our discussion, we said that capacitance is equals to charge over potential difference, ratio of charge to potential difference. And in this particular question, you are asked to calculate charge. So charge is equals to capacitance times uh, potential difference. Now capacitor is given to you to be 600 microfarad. So you need to convert this to farad by multiplying that. So we have 600 times 10 raised to power minus 6 farad. Okay, so that's how you do that conversion there. And then you have your voltage, I mean your potential difference to be 2000, 2000 volts. So substitute that into this equation, you will have 600 times 10 raised to power minus 6 multiplied by 2000 so when you do that multiplication out it will give you uh, you will have 1.2 1.2 coulomb as your answer I know that charge is measured in coulomb okay so your Q is equals to 1.2 column. All right. So this had to apply this equation. Let's do one of them or more. Okay. So this one says that a parallel plate capacitor of area 10 centimeters square in vacuum has a capacitance of 10 to the power minus 2 microfarad. What is the distance between the plates? take epsilon to be this fine so remember that um, we remember that we say that capacitance is equals to capacitance is equals to area capacitance directly proportional to area and inverse proportional to distance okay so remember this and in this particular question you are giving the area of the plate to be 10 centimeters squared this you convert to meter squared okay we well, have to convert this to meter squared then the capacitance is given to you to be 10 to the power minus 2 microfarad you also convert this to farad by multiplying it by 10 to the power minus 2 multiplying it by 10 to the power minus 6 is in farad then this you multiply by 10 to the power minus 4 in meters uh, squared okay then you have the value for your this to be 9 times 10 raised to the power minus 12 false parameters so substitute all this into this equation you will have that 9 times 10 raised to the power minus 12 multiply by area is 10 times 10 to the power minus 4 meters squared 
divide by the distance apart okay we are looking for distance sorry so capacitor has been given to you i was looking at that differently here you are giving capacitance to be 10 okay so just make the distance the subject of the formula so that we don't uh, prolong the whole process that will be better just make it all over capacitance which is 10 raised to power minus 2 times 10 raised to power minus 6 okay guys so you have to work this out well, if you work this out you are going to have 9 distance will be equals to 9 times 10 raised to power minus 7 meters please know how to work your indices know how to work your indices okay know how to work your indices so that when you are solving this type of problems it will be easy for you to know the exponent to which we raise the or the power to which we raise the 10 okay so this is how to go about solving this type of problems right so now we'll go on and look at the arrangement of capacitance in series and in parallel and how you can find the combined capacitance of capacitors that are arranged either in series or in parallel and the type of charge that flows and the PD across the different type of arrangements okay so that's what we're going to go to now arrangement of capacitors this is series arrangements they are arranged end to end series arrangements is that okay so in this type of arrangement the combined capacitance of this capacitor is the sum of the reciprocal of all the capacitors hmm? the sum of the reciprocal of the capacitance of the capacitors will give you the combined or equivalent capacitance remember that if you compare to series arrangement of cells and resistors for resistors series arrangement is just normal addition it's not additional so capacitance in series is uh, the opposite of capacitor of resistors in series for resistor in series you just add but for capacitance in series you have to add your reciprocals okay so for all these capacitors the charge that flows through them is the same which is q and the voltage across each one is equal to or the pd across each one is equal to charge over capacitance so for each of them so the overall pd is the summation of all the pds across the capacitors okay the summation of the pd across all the capacitors that is the overall pd across them right so this is the arrangement and this is how to find the combined capacitance of capacitors in series so we have a problem here that we can just solve to make that a little bit clearer So this question says that two capacitors of capacitance 5 microfarad and 3 microfarad are connected in series and the resulting combination is connected across a 6 volt, um, a six volt uh, battery. 1. What is the equivalent capacitance of the capacitor? Then 2 the total charge on the combination so you can actually draw this my drawing might not be too perfect but please you have to pardon me okay so the capacitors are arranged in this way okay and say so that the arrangement is connected to is a 600 volts cell 
so this can be five microfarad and this is three microfarad all right so this is it this is the arrangement of the capacitor so this is 600 uh, volts okay so you say what is the combined or the equivalent capacitance capacitance is series combined capacitance 1 over c is equals to 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 so it's equals to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 3 okay so can easily work that out so give you um is 15 over 3 plus 5 so 1 over c is equals to 8 over 15 c is equals to 15 over 8 and that gives you what 1.8 what? 1.875 1.875 microfarad so this is the combined capacitance for this uh, arrangement then the total charge on the combination we say that it is the same charge that flows through the combination and we know that charge is equals to capacitance times uh, the voltage so it's just for you to convert this microfarad to farad so we have 1.875 times 10 raised to power minus 6 multiplied by 600 so your answer will be in column so when you multiply this out you will have 1.125 please do that one from your calculator times 10 raised to power minus 3 column Okay guys, so this is how to solve problems relating to capacitors in world in series. Okay, so depending on the equation you are giving, you know how to maneuver and apply these equations, right? So let's look at capacitors in parallel. arrangement of capacitors in parallel now for capacitors in parallel for capacitors in parallel their combined capacitor is just the sum of all the capacitors that means the sum of the capacitance of the capacitors right then the pd across them the pd across them is the same the same pd that's across them the quantity of charge that is flowing is the sum of the charges across all the capacitors so it's quantity of charge is equals to q1 plus q2 plus q3 which is equals to this plus this plus that all right so that is for capacitors at the time parallel okay so we are going to look at how to work this out and solve some problems now Right, I hope this is clear. The voltage is the same, while the quantity of charge is different. Okay, so let's solve some problems. This one says that what is the equivalent capacitance of a 3 microfarad and a 6 microfarad capacitor connected in parallel? what is the equivalent capacitance of a cis micro of a three microfarad and a cis microfarad that are connected in parallel 
So as far as they are connected in parallel, their overall capacitance is equal to C1 plus uh, C2. So just for you to do that addition, that is 3 plus 6. And that gives you 9 microfarad. Okay, so this is actually a wire objective question. And I hope this one is just clear, straightforward. This is another sample question. The diagram of a shows three capacitors C1, C2, and C3 of capacitance 2 microfarads, 6 microfarads, and 3 microfarads respectively. The PD across C1, C2, and C3 respectively are what? Now, when you look at these capacitance, they are connected in a series, not in parallel. All right, they are connected in series and not in parallel. So their combined capacitance is equal to what? 1 over C is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. So the, the LCM of this is equal to uh, 6. 2 divided 6 is 3. This is 6 to 6 is 1. And 3 into 6 is uh, 2. So this gives you 6 over 6. So which means the combined capacitor is equal to 1 microfarad. Okay, I hope you get that. It's my 1 microfarad. So now we are asked to find the PD across each, each of these uh, capacitors. Before you can find their PD, you have to find the charge. You have to find the charge that is flowing because we are told that it is the same charge that is flowing through all the capacitors, all the capacitors because they are in series. So charge is equal to CV. Okay, so C is 1 microfarad and then your V is equal to 12. So this is 1 times 12 and that gives you 12 coulomb. So this is the charge that is flowing through this arrangement. Now if this is the charge, what is the PD across each one? Huh? What is the PD? So for the the PD, we said that the PD, the overall PD is the sum of each of the individual PD. Okay, so V1 is equal to Q over C1. So Q is 12 and C1 is equal to 2. So that gives us 6 volts. For V2 is equal to Q over C2, which is equal to 12 over 6, which gives us 2 volts. Okay, then for V3 is equal to 12 over 3, which gives us 4 Votes. So the PD across uh, C1, C2, and C3 is equal to 6 volts, 2 volts, and 4 volts. This is actually a jam question. So these are these are the option for this particular jam question. Okay. So this is how to go about solving some problems in this particular topic right so i hope those are okay so i hope those are clear and then this is a test question for you to solve said so the diagram i will show two capacitors p and q of capacitance 5 microfarad and 10 microfarad find the charges stored in p and q respectively remember that the charge in p and q is equal to their individual charges Okay, it's equals to their individual 
charges so what you will do is just to find the charge in each of them all right find the charge in each of them that gives you your, uh, your answer that you are looking for okay guys so this year we are ending our this lecture thank you so much for your time we hope you are gaining a lot okay so but before i hands up please if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel give us a like click on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video youtube will notify you okay help us to share this video in your social media platforms so that other people can also learn about this channel and also come and benefit the way you are benefiting you can reach us through the whatsapp number that is showing right on your screen so i remain on top of my care we hope to see you in our next class thank you